Hello, my name is Holly Cheek and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today we will be going over how to create a custom configured wellment profile and use it in SOLIDWORKS. I am currently in a part document and my units are set at millimeter gram second as you can see in the lower right hand corner. I need to create my sketch on any plane. I can create this and I'll just roughly sketch out the profile that I want. This can be anything that you need for your profile. Then I'm going to use relations and dimensions to fully define it. So we'll do a midpoint, an equal, and a vertical. Then using smart dimension, I can key in at 20 millimeters, 80 millimeters, and 75 degrees between those two lines. Now I have my profile finished and I want to do a couple different configurations of this. To do this, I can show those dimensions on the annotations folder in the feature manager. If you right click that and show feature dimensions, those dimensions will show up. You can then right click on any of those dimensions and select configure dimension and it brings you into a modify configurations dialog. To add in more dimensions, just double click on those dimensions and it will add a column in for that dimension. Then I can add the configurations directly from here. So I'll do an A, a B, a C, and a D. I'll leave the default and the A both at 80. Then we'll do 70, 60, and 50 for the B, C, and D. Then hit apply. And OK. If I look at the configuration manager, I have A through D in the default one now. Double clicking on these just makes them active and brings them up to date. And we can see the different size changes in the graphics area as I activate those. Now to save this out as a library feature part for my weldment profile, I need to select the sketch, then go to a save as. And I want to make sure I select the library feature part. Now I don't want to save this in the default location because if SOLIDWORKS needs to be uninstalled or reinstalled, it will delete my profile. So I want to save it in a different location, so I'll just put it on my C, and then we'll do a new folder, and I can name it HRS Weldment Profiles. Then I do need to have another folder in here in order for SOLIDWORKS to be able to read it correctly. I'll name this ISO profiles. Then in there, that's where I want to save that library feature. So this will be the Weldment profile. And I'll just name it custom. Now I have another part that I've already started and it's just a rectangular sketch on a 2D plane. And I can use that new weldment profile that I created going into the structural member underneath standard. I will need to select which one I want, but it's not in here. In order to get SOLIDWORKS to be able to read it, I need to add it into a file location. So going to system options, file location, and scrolling down to the bottom, we have weldment profiles. I need to add that file path so SOLIDWORKS knows where to look. So going to add underneath C and that was my HRS weldment profiles and say OK. I can confirm that it's there, say OK, and it will ask to make sure that that's what I want and that is what I want. So now if I go back to the structural member, I have my ISO profiles that I can select, then I want that custom configured, and then I can select which size I want. So maybe I want my size B, then I needed to just select my groups so I can select around my different sketch entities and then I can just right click and say OK and now it has that new profile placed in there for my weldment so I can use it. In today's video we covered creating a custom configured weldment profile and how to use it inside of SOLIDWORKS and the file structure needed in order to have those configured profiles work. Thanks for watching.